brothers here. Edgar, let go of Timmy's ear. <laughs> Settle down. Now look, no, Edgar, you go over there and Timmy, you come here. That's right. Now then, Neville, stop being a train, dear, and come and sit down. <laughs> well, get into the station and then sit down. <laughs> George, George, don't do that. <laughs> What are we going to tell our story about? How about some nice straight backs before we begin, shall we? That's better. Geoffrey, face this way. That's it. Rachel, take your shoe off your head and put it on your foot. Now, what should we tell our story about today? Should we tell it about a little mouse or a big red bus? What did you say, Peggy? About a little bunny rabbit. That's a good idea. We will. We'll tell it about a little bunny rabbit. No, Sydney, he, he was not a cowboy bunny and he did not have a gun. Now, why don't you come out from under the table and then you can come and help me. All right, if that's how you feel. But I don't want to say it again. Please stop machine gunning people. <laughs> One of our individualists. <laughs> <laughs> he does have little personality problems of aggression, but we like to feel that when his energies are canalized in the right direction, he's going to be quite a worthwhile member of society. <laughs> That's our hope. <laughs> now then, everybody listen carefully. Once upon a time, there was a dear little bunny rabbit and he lived, where did he live? No, not in a flat. <laughs> not in a tree. And not in a television set. Now think. Yes, Hazel, he did. He lived in a hole. And the sum of slight to call it a burrow, don't we? And he lived in the burrow. Who did he live there with, Caroline? with his mummy bunny rabbit. Good. And who else? His daddy bunny rabbit. Right. And who else? All his little brother and sister bunny rabbits. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> yes, it was, Sydney. 